celebrities flaunting their showstopper outfits. They took it up a notch in the avant-garde department at New York's Met Gala on Monday. This year, Met Gala Red Carpet celebrated the opening of the Costume Institute's exhibition to pay homage to the Japanese designer Rei Kawakubo. I, you know, I've been saying it kind of like all evening, like Rei is your favorite designer's favorite designer. I mean, like her abstract uh, way of thinking um, just continues to influence so many brands. And they, and, and it's four or five years later, they'll do something that she's done, you know. Um, and think about it, it's so cool, it's a woman. It's a woman, like, it's a woman that's like, the, a woman is a king of fashion. I'm, I'm very proud of that. And then also, you know, it's Japanese. I love Japanese culture. I love everything that Tokyo uh, has given me personally, you know? So it's like, for me, it's Rei Kawakubo and Nigo. Like, I'm, that's it for me. It, it feels good. I mean, I remember not getting invited to these things. So now that you're here and you're around your, your peers and stuff like that, it's, it's kind of cool. A lot of fun, a big reunion. Katy Perry, Rihanna, Kendall Jenner, Pharrell Williams, and guess who? It's Serena Williams. And many others lived up to the theme's challenge this year. Ray is the second living designer to be given a solo show at the Met since Yves Saint Laurent back in 1983. The black tie extravagant event is to help raise money for the Costume Institute after its success in raising 13.5 million US dollar last year.